Hello, my name is Stephen New. Hi, I'm Hayden McCausland. And this is our SOLIDWORKS design of a wheelbarrow project that we did for engineering graphics at Cape Fear Community College, otherwise known as DFT 170 for the spring semester of 2022. All right, so for the first slide in our PowerPoint, as you can see, it is a background picture of a wheelbarrow. This is the reference image that we used when designing our wheelbarrow in SOLIDWORKS. We like this design because it had two wheels rather than the usual one wheel of a wheelbarrow. For the parts, as you can see up at the top, there's a steel tray, which was two squares made on top of each other and then lofted with a shell in the middle and a lot of fillets. To model the wheels, we drew the shape of the rim and tire, mirrored it, and rotated it 360 degrees. To model the handles, we started with a rectangle shape, extruded it, then lofted one side to a circular plane. Next, we rounded the edges with the fillet tool. For the legs, we drew a line with the ankles needed for the rest of the wheelbarrow to sit level with the ground. After that, we used the swept boss base tool to follow the line with a rectangular pattern. Here we use the same process as the back legs to make the axle bracket. For the path of the sweep for this one, we made sure to fill at the edges to prevent any unnecessary friction with the axle. To model the axle, we simply extruded a circle. This is our final assembly. As you can see, we have the steel tray set atop of the two handles, which are both connected onto an axle that also connects the two wheels, allowing this to roll with the two back legs allowing you to set this on to the ground. This is the drawing document of our wheelbarrow. As you can see, we have the orthographic projection with the front, top, and side view, and the isometric view. And you can see the material that we used for this wheelbarrow, which is cast carbon steel, which we will talk about on the next slide. This is our simulation stress scale. Uh, we did two stress tests. On the left side is our first one with a weaker material of only 1,000 newtons. We didn't like the results we got, so we moved on to a cast carbon steel material and doubled the stress test to get results that were far more superior. After showing our wheelbarrow could take a load, it was time to see it in action. The wheelbarrow is able to dump materials out of the front. Unfortunately, it's difficult to make out the rotation of the wheels due to the lack of texture in this animation. We faced many challenges during our time working on this project, but we are both happy with the end result. We hope you enjoyed hearing about our process, modeling the parts, and seeing the final assembly. Thank you for watching.